Is it possible to hack your metabolism so that you can burn more calories and eat more food, all while developing a lean physique? There certainly are science-based methods we can use to increase your metabolic activity. But there are also many myths about how to boost your metabolism that do more harm than good. In today's video, we will look into the science behind metabolism boosting strategies. Like taking an ice bath, does this actually make your body burn more calories? What about having small frequent meals? Will your metabolism be more active throughout the day? And what if you build muscle, how much more calories will you burn per day? All of these questions will be answered. At the end of the video, I will also show you the steps I personally take to help maintain a faster metabolism. I currently am able to eat 2800 calories per day while staying lean. When I started with my fitness journey, I had to eat around 2300 calories per day to maintain my weight. Before showing you the science, let's define the metabolism. The metabolism refers to chemical processes in your body that convert food into energy. But when most people refer to the metabolism, they are typically talking about how many calories the body burns in a day. Or in other words, your total daily energy expenditure. Your total daily energy expenditure can be categorized into four components. The first and largest component is your basal metabolic rate. This refers to how many calories you burn at rest to fuel basic processes like breathing, muscle recovery, and blood circulation. For the average person, 60% of your daily energy expenditure will come from the basal metabolic rate. The second largest component of your daily calorie burn is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. NEAT refers to spontaneous movement like walking to your couch, fidgeting at your desk, and walking stairs. NEAT makes up about 20% of your daily energy expenditure. The third component of your calorie burn is the thermic effect of food. To digest and absorb the nutrients we consume, your body has to burn calories. This makes up roughly 10% of the average person's daily calorie burn. And lastly, we have exercise activity thermogenesis, which refers to how many calories you burn during deliberate training. As you can imagine, we all have different lifestyles, so our daily energy expenditure can vary widely from person to person. Someone that works in construction will have a way different energy expenditure than someone with a desk job. There is research showing that two people with the same body size can have a daily calorie burn difference of up to 2000 calories per day simply due to a difference in spontaneous activity. This helps explain why some people seem to have a faster metabolism while others feel like they gain 5 pounds by just looking at a bag of chips. If you are in the camp of having a somewhat slow metabolism, you probably heard that building muscle will help you improve your daily calorie burn. Factually speaking, this is correct. Muscle is metabolically active tissue, so the more muscle you carry, the more calories your body burns at rest. Research shows one pound of muscle burns between six to eight calories per day. So if you gain 10 pounds of muscle, that's an extra 60 to 80 calories burned daily. It is important to mention though, that gaining 10 pounds of muscle is not something that will happen quickly. If you are a beginner trainee, gaining 10 pounds of muscle may take six to nine months to actually realize and it's even longer if you already have some training experience. Also, 60 to 80 calories is a nice boost, but it's definitely not enough to drastically increase your calorie needs. With that said, the main benefit of having quality muscle mass is that it helps you prevent the metabolism from slowing down as you get leaner. You probably know this feeling. You start losing fat and are feeling good, but eventually your progress slows down. And even while eating lower calories, you are not losing fat. This typically happens because of the slowing down of your metabolism, also known as metabolic adaptations. A 2020 study by the University of Leeds found that when you maintain a healthy amount of muscle while losing fat, you experience less metabolic adaptations and keep a higher basal metabolic rate. To get these metabolic benefits, make lifting weights your primary form of physical activity. Another popular method used for boosting your metabolism is taking an ice bath or cold shower. There is research showing that when you are in a cold bath, you do burn more calories because of the shivering and increased oxygen consumption. However, the calorie increase is nothing to write home about. For every 10 minutes you sit in an ice bath, you burn roughly 15 extra calories. That's burning off like two almonds. Considering we cannot spend much more than 15 minutes straight in an ice bath without risking hypothermia, taking an ice bath is not a good metabolism booster. In fact, if building muscle is your goal, you want to be careful with ice baths. In a 2009 study, the participants gained less muscle over a seven-week training period when they had a cold shower after training. This is because a cold shower reduces inflammation, but the inflammation you experience after training is a necessary component for muscle growth. For these reasons, I do not recommend an ice bath if a metabolism boost or muscle growth is your goal. So, building muscle works, an ice bath does not work, 
What about having increased meal frequency? The idea is, if I eat six small meals per day, my metabolism will be more active with digesting the food I consume, so I will be burning more calories throughout the day, right? Actually, this is false. One research review analyzed five studies about how meal frequency impacts daily calorie burn. Whether the participants consumed one or six meals per day, the calorie burn was the same as long as they consumed the same calories and macros per day. This means that you do not have to consume a meal every two to three hours to keep your metabolism going. In fact, having small and frequent meals can leave you hungrier throughout the day. In another 2013 study, the researchers compared having three versus six meals per day while matching calorie intake. Fat oxidation was the same in both groups, but the group eating six meals per day felt hungrier because they were only able to snack on small meals. So you do not have to make things harder for yourself by eating tiny meals every few hours. Also, do not fall for these supposed fat-burning supplements that claim to speed up your metabolism. Compounds like green tea extract, which is found, of course, in green tea, and capsaicin, which is found in spicy food like peppers, have research showing that they produce a thermogenic effect in which they boost your metabolism. But this metabolism boost is only a couple of percent for a few hours, which is not enough to produce a meaningful difference in your calorie burn. That's why a 2021 research review concludes that typical fat-burning supplements do not produce significant extra weight loss progress. I don't want you to get discouraged. Next to building muscle, there are other ways we can boost your metabolism. But these methods are just less trendy than an ice bath or new fat burner pill. To be specific, there are four other methods I use for myself and my clients to help upregulate the metabolism. First, maintain a slow to moderate rate of weight loss whenever you are in a calorie deficit. Losing weight quickly comes with a faster decline in your daily energy expenditure. Like in this study, which found that 8 weeks of aggressive dieting can reduce your daily calorie burn by up to 20%. Set a goal to lose between 0.5 to 1% of your total body weight per week to have a healthy weight loss rate that will not drastically reduce your metabolism. Secondly, maintain a relatively high protein intake. A 2021 study found that having a higher protein intake increased the resting metabolic rate of the participants. This is likely because protein helps you maintain more muscle, which you now know is metabolically active tissue. It also takes your body more energy to digest and absorb protein, so the thermic effect of food is higher. Maintaining between 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of your gold body weight in protein is a good target to get these metabolism boosting benefits. Thirdly, go for regular walks. Your lifestyle outside of the gym greatly influences your energy expenditure. We burn more calories throughout the day spontaneously than during our workouts. So rather than doing even more cardio than usual, I recommend you take on extra walking. One study found that an extra 25 minutes of walking per day helped boost daily calorie burn and increase fat loss progress by 20%. Walking is awesome because it's also less likely for you to feel very tired and hungrier after a nice walk. With hard cardio, on the other hand, research shows that some people can even slightly gain weight once they add more cardio in their routine, because they start eating more and moving less due to lower energy levels after doing lots of cardio training. Fourth and lastly, make sure you have good sleeping habits. Research clearly shows that sleep deprivation makes us move less throughout the day and our hunger levels increase. This makes sense. If you feel tired, you will not be as motivated to be active and your body will want to eat more to maintain wakefulness. So getting a quality 7 to 8 hours of sleep per night is a good way to boost your metabolism. This is essentially how I boosted my metabolism and how you can do it as well. Focus on building muscle, maintain a slow to moderate rate of weight loss when you are in a deficit, consume enough daily protein, go for regular walks, and sleep 7 to 8 hours per night. These actions sound less cool than taking an ice bath or taking a thermogenic supplement, but this is what it takes if you want a healthy metabolism. There are no crazy hacks. Following the basic principles for an extended period of time is what delivers results. My online coaching clients also maintain these principles and it allows us to lose body fat at comfortable calorie levels. If you want to learn more about healthy habits you can maintain to make staying leaner easier, make sure to watch this video above about 10 science-based habits to achieve 10% body fat. For now, I am signing off. I want to thank you as always for your support and I will see you in the next video.